In the backdrop of the chaotic and volatile French Revolution, the tragic story unfolds at La Force Prison. The imprisoned Princesse de Lamballe, known for her close friendship with Queen Marie Antoinette, finds herself in a dire situation alongside Madame de Tourzel and her young daughter Pauline. As tensions rise and violence fills the air, September 3, 1792 becomes a fateful day for the Princess de Lamballe. She is led out into the prison courtyard, where a bloodthirsty yet disorganized mob eagerly awaits her arrival. Despite her fear and anguish, the princess musters an inner strength fueled by love and loyalty. She reflects on her cherished relationship with Queen Marie Antoinette as memories of their shared laughter and intimate conversations flood her thoughts. Determined not to break, she composes herself with grace and resolve. The mob's intense anger clashes with the princess's unwavering dignity as she steps forward to address them. Her words echo with empathy, appealing to their humanity amidst the madness that engulfs them. She speaks of unity and understanding, a plea for compassion in a time of immense brutality. Yet tragically, her efforts fall on deaf ears as the mob's fury intensifies beyond control. Unleashing their pent-up rage upon her, they subject the princess to unspeakable violence. The crowd's roars drown out her cries of agony as she succumbs to an unforgiving fate. News of this horrid event reverberates throughout France and across Europe, leaving an indelible mark on history. The death of the Princesse de Lamballe becomes emblematic, a symbol of both humanity's capacity for cruelty in times of upheaval and nobility in refusing to abandon one's principles. Her legacy lives on as a poignant reminder of the toll that revolution can exact upon individuals who find themselves caught in its merciless grip. The story of her tragic demise serves as a haunting cautionary tale, urging us to always strive for empathy, compassion, and peace amid the chaos that unfolds during periods of profound societal change. Princess de Lamballe Early Life In the year 1766, Marie-Thérèse Louise of Savoy Carignano, a young and elegant woman, was married to Louis-Alexander Stanislaus de Bourbon, Prince of Lamballe. Widowed at the tender age of 18, when her husband met an untimely demise, she found solace and companionship in her father-in-law and retreated to the peaceful chateau of Rambouillet. While living a quiet life away from the intrigues of court, news reached the Princesse de Lamballe of the forthcoming marriage between the Dauphin and a young Austrian archduchess named Marie Antoinette. Fascinated by this union and eager to play a role in shaping history, Lamballe embarks on a secret mission. Behind closed doors, Lamballe harnesses her intellect and charm. With her extensive knowledge of social connections and royal court etiquette, she becomes an influential figure within secrecy. Utilizing her wit and captivating nature, she establishes herself as a trusted confidant to Marie Antoinette. As Lamballe guides Marie Antoinette through the treacherous world of French court politics, she becomes entangled in a dangerous web of power dynamics. Rumors swirl around Versailles regarding secret political alliances and clandestine affairs. Loyalty is tested as hidden agendas begin to reveal themselves. With each passing day, it becomes increasingly challenging for Lamballe to distinguish friend from foe. As tensions rise towards the eve of the French Revolution, Lamballe finds herself in the center of a storm brewing within the royal court. Her allegiance to Marie Antoinette threatens not only her own life, but also those whom she holds dear. Compelled by duty and honor, Lamball must navigate through an intricate maze of deceit and betrayal to protect both her queen's reputation and her own life. The stakes are high as revolutionaries gain strength, and the once opulent and lavish world of Versailles begins to crumble. In the depths of revolutionary France, Marie Lamballe, a loyal confidant of Queen Marie Antoinette, finds herself at the center of a violent storm. The story unfolds with Lamballe's visit to England to seek assistance for the royal family, only to return and face a torrent of political turmoil upon her arrival. As tensions escalate, the devoted Lamballe makes her stand alongside the queen, demonstrating unwavering loyalty and setting an inspiring example for other émigrés. However, their unity proves to be little protection when they are imprisoned together in the temple on August 10, 1792. Transferred to the notorious La Force prison on August 19th, Lamballe's indomitable spirit refuses to break. Despite being subjected to harsh conditions and interrogations meant to elicit allegiance against the monarchy, she remains resolute. On September 3rd, faced with immense pressure to renounce her loyalty, Lamballe finds her courage tested. Standing tall amidst threats and coercion, 
She vehemently refuses to take the oath against the monarchy at any cost. As word spreads about Lambal's unyielding devotion and undying commitment to Queen Marie Antoinette, a flicker of hope ignites among those still loyal to the crown. Within prison walls and beyond its confines, whispers of rebellion reverberate as people begin rallying behind the idea that there is strength in defiance. Throughout her ordeal, Lambal becomes a symbol of resilience and unbreakable loyalty. Her bravery inspires others who vow never to surrender their beliefs or abandon their queen. Even in unimaginable adversity, Lambal remains unwavering in her principles until her tragic demise. When the revolution erupted in 1789, Madame de Lambal became closer than ever to the king's devout sister, Madame Elizabeth of France, and was horrified at how the Masonic principles she had thought to be so constructive had led to such a violent revolution. When the royal family was arrested and sent to the temple prison in August 1792, Lambal was separated from them and sent to the prison of La Force. When the September massacres broke out, in which thousands were killed and the streets ran with blood, Madame de Lambal was asked to renounce her loyalty to the king and the queen. She refused and was delivered over to the mob. She was bludgeoned and stabbed to death and by some accounts raped and mutilated. She was definitely decapitated, and the valet of Louis XVI, Hannah Clary, gave an account of how the mob brought her head on a pike to the temple prison for the queen to kiss. The French Revolution stirred up by propaganda which played upon the fears of many. The Princesse de Lambal was a bit misguided but ultimately heroic and loyal, and the grisly death to which she was subjected exemplified not only the misogyny of the new order, but a hatred of all that was beautiful and good. History has a way of unveiling tales of bravery, loyalty, and tragedy. The story of the Princesse de Lambal during the French Revolution is a stark reminder of the complexities of human nature amidst the chaos of societal change. If you were moved by the tale of unbreakable loyalty and the indomitable spirit of the Princesse de Lambal, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends and fellow history enthusiasts. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss out on captivating historical stories like this.